It's so echoey in here. Bye! Do you remember back in the day where men used to dress up as brave knights and defend for their princess's hand and honor? And they wore these things, this material that was, ah, chain mail. Hello everyone and welcome back to your favorite fashion Insta channel called Darewares. Ooh, I like the sound of that in here. <laughs> I am your hostess of the hostess, Dare Taylor, and today we're going to be covering a topic that has become very popular since the year, well, since back in medieval times, is chainmail. Now, chainmail back in the day is very different than these pieces I'm going to be showing you today. These outfits are more inspired chainmail, so to say. But before we get to trying on these outfits, don't forget to check me out on all of my free social medias. I have a TikTok, well, four TikToks, an Instagram, and a Twitter, so be sure to check them out. I would love to see you there, and I'd love for you to tell me that you found me from the Darewares channel. And also don't forget to check out Patreon. Patreon is the best place to see behind the scenes from these YouTube videos. Today we'll get a sneak peek of the behind the scenes, so I'll see you on over there. But let's get to trying on some of this chainmail, shall we? Let's do it. The first chainmail inspired fit that we have today is this teeny tiny little gold top. So as you can see, this doesn't quite mimic chainmail exactly, but if you look at this material, it has that same feel to it. Um, it's got those little stone pieces latched onto each other. It's not a comfortable fabric. I will say just holding it right here and right now, but it looks amazing on. I can't wait to see what this one will look like on me. I've never owned one that's a square before, so hopefully it'll look appealing on me. Yeah, I feel like overall this looks like the Amazon picture that I was advertised, and I didn't really pay that much for it, so I'm excited to see what it will look like on my body. Let's check it out. Whoa! <laughs> Our first top is here, and honestly, I'm really surprised. I thought that the square shape might not be very flattering on me, but it is so flattering. It hangs extremely nice. It's got this little scoop in it, which you can kind of like adjust and play with so it looks differently on you. And I have it set as tight as it goes on the top and as tight as it goes on the bottom. So there's a little bit of hang on the bottom, but like the top feels very secure. The only thing I would really worry about is if you are going out to a club and you're dancing a lot, your top may shift a little bit. So I would just be, be cautious of how much shimmying you do on the dance floor. But honestly, I think this is solid 8 out of 10. This is a win. And I will say, it is quite cold here in LA. I know, shocker, it's cold here. And the metal is kind of cold. So um, don't wear this if you want to be warm and uh, comfortable, because it's not exactly a comfortable fabric. But it sure is stylish. <laughs> Still give it a solid 8. Let's check out the other ones. Now that we got the gold first place out of the way, I wanted to try a different color. Does color affect the detailing of this product? Does it affect the way that it looks? And for some reason, it affected the size of this piece. I ordered this from the same person, and it's a lot smaller, so not sure what that's all about. But I do, however, really like the color. I think this is a great color for my skin tone, and of course, it's one of my favorite colors, blue, so I had to get one. Uh, it still feels the same, like it's that same sort of chainmail fabric, and I just, I don't know, I'm a little worried about how much body does this actually cover, but let's find out together. Ready? Whoa, if you thought the first one was small, <laughs> get low to this tiny piece of fabric. I was so surprised to see how tiny it is, and it, uh, she's tiny, so um, if you wanna go dancing, maybe not this one, because it's like one little shimmy away from like exposing myself, but it looks good though. <laughs> is that bad? Is it bad that I'm like, lots of skin, A plus. Like it just looks cute. I just think it needs to be like a little bit bigger as I'm popping out of the one side. Very good. It's adorable. I love the color. I love the shape. It just needs to be a little bit bigger because even I am falling out. It's a vibe though. Like this is the outfit that I would wear if 
because I was going to like go to a disco party all night, just like throwing it back, giving all the good like disco moves, you know? But like you can't do the disco moves if your shirt is this big, like it's just not possible. So do I rate it a high score because I like how small it is? Or do I rate it a low score because normal people wouldn't wear this to the club? So I'm gonna go with what, how it fits on me. I would rate it a nine out of 10, but if I were to actually wear this or tell somebody that they should purchase this, I would rate it more like a six because it's just, it's too small. It's really too small to get away with. Like I, I couldn't wear this in public, but I can wear it on Patreon. Did I convince you to join Patreon yet? No? Okay. <laughs> Let's try on the next outfit. This next outfit is um, a fail already. So Amazon likes to do this thing. If you watched my crochet bikini haul, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This was advertised as a chainmail dress. And as you can see here, this is not the same fabric at all. It's just some cheap polyester that's shiny on one side, which in theory, I think it'll look really great on me because it still has this backless feel to it. Well, actually, it is completely backless. And it still has this rhinestone embellishment on the back, which is very cute, but this is not at all what I thought I was ordering. To me, I would count this a fail on Amazon's behalf because if I'm buying something that looks like the first two crop tops and then this is what I get, I would be extremely unhappy. So lucky for you, fashionistas out there, you have me to test run the waters for you. I'm still gonna try on this dress despite it not being exactly in the chain build category, but hey, I didn't pay for it, so I might as well see if it looks good on. This, uh, this looks good. <laughs> I hate that I like it. Okay, so let's break it down. Let's like focus on what's wrong about it. So it's not the right material at all. It's clearly just like a soft, nice, warm material. It looks good, it's shiny. It doesn't fit the category of chainmail because it's not made with that metallic, wavery fabric, if that makes any sense at all. It's just, it's not it. But, I mean, come on. Look at the dress. You see the dress? Do you see the front? Look at the front. Okay, ready? Now look at the back. Like, look at the back! It's so cute, but it technically isn't what was advertised to me, so I hate it, but I love it at the same time. The only other thing that I really also kind of dislike about it is that I don't like dresses that have this like, I like the shrug top, I think it looks good in a top, but for me personally and my figure, I don't know that it translates really well down here because it sort of gives me like this pooch look and it, it's hard to say right now because I can't see it the same time that you do, but like it only shows during like certain ways that I move that it shows up. So to me, this cut of dress is not figure flattering for me. But for somebody who has a slim or like petite body shape, this would look absolutely perfect on. So do I like the dress? Yeah. Is it what we were looking for? Absolutely not. So I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give it a five because it doesn't fit the video's criteria. We got duped into buying a dress. We didn't know we needed, so. I don't know, roast me in the comments below for getting fooled by Amazon. Let's just look at the next dress so I can put it on. Like, why is it cute though? Bringing it back to gold, I wanted to try a different cut of this chain mill product just to see is there a difference between a square cut or a v-neck cut. I just wanted to get a really good grasp on this product and this chain mill craze that's going around here in 2022. So I got this one in a v-neck cropped top and I don't know how to feel about it. Honestly, looking at it right now, I'm not as excited as I thought I would be. I thought it would be a little bit smaller. I'm concerned that it's gonna hang almost too low for me and there's no way to really like fix the top. I mean, you can go a little looser, but this is as tight as it goes. And I don't know, I'm kind of concerned how it's gonna fit, but we're still gonna give it a try. It is exactly the same material as the first two pieces, so it still fits that chain mill category. And I think even if it doesn't fit perfectly, maybe I can find a way to modify it. Let's try it officially on and see what she looks like. Whoa, almost fell over that spin was Okay, so I thought when I was initially like picking out all these different chainmill tops, I thought it would 
fit me a little bit better, but I don't know how I feel about this one. To me, it doesn't look like it fits very well at all. And I thought like one size fits all, there's no way that this could go wrong. But the way that it's like hanging, it's not really figure flattering. I don't really care for like how thick the top is here. Like it just, I don't know, it's not doing it for me. And maybe this would look better. I think in my opinion, this would look better on somebody who's a little less chesty than I am because that way it wouldn't be like hanging so much on the bottom. It would look a little bit more, it would just look better on a slender build. For me, it's just, it makes me look big. Like I feel like I look huge from this side. And then when I turn to the side, it's like, oh wait, she's actually skinny, shocker. So I don't know, I, this still just isn't doing it for me. But I think for somebody else, this would be like a perfect 10 out of 10 because I do think that it's a great shape. It's the right fabric. I love the color. But for me, I would give it maybe a five. Because honestly, now that I've seen the other ones, I don't really want to wear this one. I'd rather wear the other ones that look good. So Amazon for the dupes, you know? Let's try out our next one. Last but not least is the exact chain mill dress that everyone is going crazy for. So this dress is actually sold out on Fashion Nova and I couldn't find it as a dupe anywhere except for Amazon. So I thought I would give it a try and instead of it being like a gold or silvery color, I went for this metallic mermaid color, which I'm very excited to see what it will look like on me. Although it's only been five days since I bought this product and one of the sides has completely undone itself. Like it's supposed to be weaved through on both sides, making it a full backdrop dress with the sides all weaved together and it's already kind of falling apart so I'm hoping I can fix it so that way it looks good on me but hopefully we can pull it off today one more time just for you to get the insider scoop on this chain mill product. Let's try it on. Wish me luck. Wow I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like that has been me this entire video where I'm like let's break it down. So from the front I look like I'm built like a box. Uh, there's really no curve, no definition. The color is fabulous, the way that it hangs looks great, but like, I look like a really cute rectangle, like a really dressed up rectangle going to the club. But then from the side, this side, it's like, bam, wow, take me on a date, marry me right now, like, let's go to the disco club, I look amazing. On the front, rectangle. Side, winner! Like, it just, of this dress, like the way that it's cut. There's a lot of design flaws with it. For one, I pulled it out earlier and it was completely un untied on one side. And the only way to fix it is to take this tiny little bit of chain and loop it through more chain and say a prayer to Jesus that it's gonna stay. And then um, it's holding for now, but it doesn't look like it's gonna last long. Another side note is that it's rather big. This is a size small. I'm kind of rounding it Also don't forget to subscribe and I will see you fashionistas in the next time.